progress tonight in talks between actors and the studios. Second day of negotiations wrapped up, but there are already plans set for more talks. NBC4's Robert Kovacic joins us live from the News Operations Center with details. Robert? You're exactly right there, Colleen. They will meet again on they will work internally over the weekend. And go ahead, go ahead. Tonight, the red carpet rolled out at the Amundsen for the opening of the Tony Award winning musical Hades Town. It feels really good to celebrate theater and actors and plays in this very, very strange time. A strange time that has given actress Loretta Devine plenty of idle time. Knitting and, and housekeeping and praying that the strike would hurry up and end. <laughs> sag aftra sitting down again today with the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers, representing studios and streamers, including NBC Universal. And according to Variety's TV editor, Michael Schneider... It does sound like... Uh, they're making progress, and that's where it stands now. And, and uh, you know, from there, uh, we still don't know specifics, but hopefully we'll know soon. With late-night talk shows already giving viewers a reason to celebrate... Hey, everyone, we are back with all new show! Get ready. Saturday Night Live is finally back. We haven't had a new episode since April of last year. SNL kicks off next Saturday, and with SAG's blessing, stating... They are not in violation of SAG after strike rules, and we support them in fulfilling their contractual obligations. And so the cast members are all legally allowed to come back, along with the writers, of course. So I think everyone will be back. They're really anxious to get this show back on the air. They haven't been on since April, so it'll be nice to have some new SNL on our television screens on the 14th. SNL announcing the lineup for the 14th when Pete Davidson will host with musical guest Ice Spice and the following week, Bad Bunny will do double duty. Pete Davidson was slated to host the show in May before it was canceled due to the writer strike, and now he kicks off SNL's 49th season.